Welcome back. Today is cooking day. Yum. How did the shopping go? Uh, overwhelming. <laughs> so shopping was a little bit harder than we thought it was going to be, wasn't it? Yes. Okay, but that's why we're doing all this. We're doing all of this to learn our skills. Yes. So you've got a plan here? Yeah. You're going to make your apple pie yeah. from 11 until 12.30. Mm -hmm. Then you're going to prep your Caesar salad. Yep. And then you're going to start making your pizza. Then ring. you get a break. Yeah. Assuming everything's going smoothly. Yes. Then after your break. I'm going to get the pasta going. You're going to get your pasta going. 4.30. We're going to set table and put together salad. So are you going to set the table? No, I'm going to ask Lorelai or someone else. Or probably two to set the table. And all going well, everything's going to be coming together about 5 o'clock. Yeah. Okay. And then the plan is to be completely ready by 5.30. Do you think you can do this? I hope so. Are you ready to go and try? Yes. Okay, let's get going. Okay. So you're starting with the pie? Yeah. That's wonderful. What have you learned so far? That you don't need a special peeler for apples. I thought you did. They use the same peeler as you do for other vegetables like potatoes? Yeah. And is it much different peeling an apple than it is a potato? No, not really. It's just easier to peel since it's not as thick. I could go bobbing for apples in this. I know, that's what I was thinking as I'm peeling from them. Pear filling, peel apples optional, cut sideways away from the core, then cut into one four inch slices. So do you know what that means? You've got your apples peeled. Mm -hmm. So what are they wanting you to do? I'm not too sure. Okay, where well you're going to cut up your apple, we're going to take the core out and we're going to slice it up. Okay. Do you want me to demonstrate and then you're going to do it after me? Yes. Okay, so we're going to cut down this side here. So see, we want to cut not on the core. So we cut down here. Then we're going to turn it. We're going to cut down here. We're going to turn it. We're going to cut down here. We're going to turn it. And we're going to cut down here. Okay. This is the core because we don't want the core in our no. pie. Okay. Okay, yep. I'm not done. Now we have our four chunks. We're going to cut little slivers. Like that. Okay. Then we'll get the other pieces. And by doing this way, they're all similar shaped and similar sizes. Can you think of a reason we want them to be similar sizes? That there's not really big chunks that we have to like cut through while we're doing our pie, and there's not little chunks to make it like uh, applesauce, I guess. Yes, but also we want it to cook at the same speed. Oh, okay. So if I had an apple like this in my pie, and then these slices, oh, okay, that's... what's going to cook fastest? The slices. And then this part's not even going to be cooked, is it? Mm -hmm, no. Yes. Next to the core. You have to push hard. Then turn your apple. Right there. Yes. Then your core can go into the compost. Okay, and then you cut them like this way? Yes. Is that okay? Do they look the same size as mine? Yeah. Okay, well that's good. Last apple. That's good. So our apple cutting is taking a little bit longer than we had anticipated, isn't it? Mm-hmm. It's okay because safety first. Yep. But we've worked in a lot of leeway with your schedule. Yep. So you have plenty of time. 
So right now we are at 1230 when we thought that the pies would be done and ready to go in the oven, but they're not quite ready, so that's okay. After your apples are sliced, what are you supposed to be doing with them? Uh, stir apples, lemon juice, one third cup sugar, cornstarch, cinnamon, salt, and large bowl set aside. Remember, you doubled the apples, so you have to double everything else. Okay. So instead of one third cup sugar, that'd be two third cup sugar, right? Correct. Let's get it going. So what does it say after the apples? What's next? Lemon juice, and we need one tablespoon of lemon juice. But since we doubled the apples, we need two tablespoons of lemon juice. Okay. So I'm gonna do this part over the sink. Well, you can do it carefully over your apples. Okay. That looks good. Okay, mm -hmm. hey, what are you doing? I'm gonna pour, carefully pour your ground cinnamon into the one third cup. I'm gonna need two of them. Are you sure? Oh, I see. Oh, one teaspoon cinnamon. I was looking at brown sugar. Hmm. <laughs> you still need the cinnamon. Yeah, but not. Yes. Yeah. So, how much cinnamon are you gonna put in? One teaspoon. Stir them all together. Okay. Stir them. You're going to stir it carefully because you don't want to break up your apples. Yeah. You just want them coated. Okay. So, so get, a, get a spoon or a spatula okay. and just be gentle when you do it. Prepare crumb topping. Heat butter in a small microwave-safe bowl until melted, 30 to 60 seconds. So it doesn't say how big the cubes need to be, so should I just do like... And just cut it up a little bit. It doesn't really matter the size, it's just to make it melt a little bit faster. So you could cut it into four and that would be good enough. And then you can put it in this glass bowl okay. because a glass bowl can go in the microwave but a metal bowl cannot. Okay. A metal bowl will start sparking and then catch a fire and catch a fire and then our microwave won't work. Okay. So the, it's really important when it says a microwave safe bowl. Okay I was thinking maybe we could put it in one of our um, cereal bowls. That's all. We could, but it's asking you to melt this and then add some other ingredients. Oh, okay. So if you use one bowl that's going to hold everything, you're going to have less dishes to do. Yeah. That butter is extremely hot. So if you pick it up and slosh the butter and it comes out at you, it's going to burn you. Okay. So hold it level and do it slowly. It's not melted. I think it'll be close enough by the time you mix everything else in there. Wow. One teaspoon. No, that's not it. So look where it says crumb topping. Yeah. And follow that row. One and one fourth cups of flour. So that would be two one fourths. Well, don't you have to double that one quarter as well? So two two-fourths? What does two-fourths equal? Mm -hmm. I don't know. <laughs> so two and a half cups? Because oh. a quarter plus a quarter equals a half? Yes. Okay, two and a half cups. So because you're having trouble tracking, I've put post-it notes to block out what you've already done. Okay. Okay. Yep. So those measurements you've already done. So this is what's left to okay. make it easier for you to track. Okay. I've also you. put one here on the one that you've just done. So then you can move it over as you go. Okay. Here's one. And I said two and a half. 
Yes. Next. Brown sugar, two one third cups. Okay. One thing I like about brown sugar, it, it kind of like forms like snowballs or something. Mm -hmm. So you can make like little like powders in it. Now what do you need to do with this? Um, stir gently with a fork to make large crumbs. Wouldn't this have been easier with a, like a mixer or something? But you don't want it smooth, you want the crumbs in there. Because um, it's your crumble type topping. So I moved your post-it notes. Mm -hmm. What's the next step you need to do? Number 11. Add apple mixture to pie pan and an even layer of sprinkle crumb mixture on top to cover. So it's going to be heaped up because as it cooks, it's going to cook down. Yeah. So it's okay that it's going to be piled up. So you've divided all your apples up? Yep. Now you have to put that topping on top. Okay. So you're trying to keep it on the pie because otherwise you have more dishes to do. Okay. Oops. So you might need to use your hand and kind of press it on. It's going to be a bit more of a challenge because it's a heaped up pie. So what's next? Bake 60 minutes, check after 40 minutes, and tent with foil if top is brown. What temperature are you going to cook it at? 375 Fahrenheit. So bake 375 and start. Okay, when it comes up to temperature, you're going to put your pies in. Okay. So do you think you need to keep the pan very level? Yes. Otherwise, what's going to happen? It is going to end up all over the floor. Okay. So we can do some cleanup real quick yeah. while it heats up. Okay. So your time, you are way past what we thought. Oh. Okay. So you need to do some speed cleaning while we wait for that to go in the oven. And then we're going to reassess and figure out what we're going to do next. So how long is it going in for? Uh, 30 to 60 minutes, I think that's what it said. 60 minutes, but check back to 40. Okay, so what would you be setting your timer at? Um, we're setting the timer for how many minutes? 60 minutes. But it says to check it at 40. Okay, so 40 minutes and then 10 minutes after, maybe 20 minutes after that. Okay. Can you set your timer, please? So then it's ready for us to check at 40 minutes. It will yep. remind us. So yep. you thought you were going to be done this pie at 1230. Yeah. And it is now 130. So what do you think we should do? Do we just keep following our schedule as is or should we adjust it? I think we should adjust it. Okay. What should we, how should we adjust it? I think um, instead of break at 2 o'clock, we should put it at 2.30 and then probably have pizza we go from 1.30 to 2.30. Okay, well we were only going to take a break if everything was going smoothly. Yeah. Okay, and it's not going smoothly right now. No. It's going smooth, but we're just running behind. Yes. Okay. My suggestion is we start on the pizza wreath okay. because that's going to take a lot longer than the salad. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then if that takes too long and we're not ready for the, uh, at the time the pasta is going to be ready, I can make the salad while you do the pasta. Okay. 
Okay, yep. so let's start on the pizza wreath. So are you going through things in order? No, I'm just picking and going. Okay, so is that going to work because you've been having trouble tracking and keeping track of everything? So would it be best to start at the beginning and work your way through the list? Yes. So what's the first thing you need? Act active dry yeast. Okay, so I put the yeast here for you. Okay. Okay, what's the next thing you need? Sugar, which is this one. Okay. Warm water. Which well, it's in the tap, so. Yeah. Flour is here. One salt. Would that be like kosher salt or like table salt? Table salt. So a little hint, mm -hmm. usually when they write out the ingredients, that's the order you're going to use them as you're cooking. Oh, okay. Okay, so if you start at the beginning and work your way through as you're collecting them and keep them in some sort of order, mm -hmm. they're going to be the same order you're going to need them. Okay, I have all the ingredients and I have all the utensils stuff. So, are you ready to start? Yep. Okay, what does step number one say? Make no knead pizza dough. Mix yeast, sugar, and warm water in large bowl. One, Make sure it's filled up right up. Right up. Two, one. Okay, you have a lot oh. stuck to here. So that's actually the ingredients that you measured. So it's important that your spoons are dry when you're scooping up dry things because otherwise your measurements isn't correct anymore. Move your paper over to make it easier for you. One cup warm water. Fill it right up. How is that feeling on your hands? All right. It's like playing with like um. Like sticky. Okay, so we need to get it really kneaded into a nice ball. Can't be crumbly like that. Now, what do you have to do with it? Set it aside for 10 minutes. Okay, and what are you going to do during that 10 minutes? So, we could finely mince parsley to make one fourth cup and then add with cheese. Okay, okay. so you can start chopping up. Your parsley. Cheyenne, mm -hmm. I hear a timer going off. Yeah. What is that? It's the apple crumble one. That's the check plate. Okay. I say maybe a little longer. I'd say it needs the next 20 minutes. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So, timer again? Yes. When you're cooking, multiple things even if you're busy doing something mm -hmm. your timer starts going off you can't just pretend you didn't hear it okay hmm? yeah. because your pie could be burning and then you would be further behind that is going to make the bread taste so good yeah. yep it got big did it grow <laughs> Before I was like yeah, half the size? Yeah. yeah. And it doubled? Yeah. Okay, what do we have to do with it? We have to pour dough onto a flat surface. Okay. Lightly sprinkle dough with flour and pat into eight inch square cut into one inch strips. Okay, so flatten it out. Try and make it into a square. How big is one inch? Right. Not big. Okay. 
So you're making it into small little squares, right? Yeah. So we're going to make a strip and then cut that strip small. Okay, should I cut it lengthwise or...? Whatever way you would like. Look at your pie. It looks done. So you're going to need to carefully lift this out. Okay. Are you feeling confident enough to do this or do you want me to? I want you to do this. I might end it up all over the floor. That wouldn't be any good. No. Okay, I will do it. Mm -hmm. That looks delicious. It does look very good. So they're all cut? Yep. What does it say to do? Add a few dull pieces to cheese mixture. Toss gently with hands. Repeat with remaining dough. Do not over mix. Okay. So you're gently covering them with your cheese mixture. And add the rest in. Is it all mixed in? Yeah. What's the next step? Let's take a look. Mm. Grease bandit pan with cooking spray. Gre grease bunt pan? Oh. Scoop mixture. I like your way better. <laughs> Thanks. Bandit pan. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Scoop mixture inside. Bake until golden brown about 30 minutes. Okay. Perfect timing because yeah. your pies just came out of the oven. Mm -hmm. I already greased that for you, so you just have to put it all around the edges. It's looking really good. <laughs> smells delicious. Mm -hmm. Can't go wrong with garlic and cheese. Recipe number two towards dinner. Yeah. Half there. Everybody's going to be so full after supper. I think so. <laughs> I think you're kind of torturing them because it's, gonna, it's been smelling so good all day so far. <laughs> but they're just like, I'm hungry, let's eat now. <laughs> okay, yeah. so you're going to get these dishes done. And then yeah. we're going to reevaluate our schedule and see where we're at. It's three o'clock. Yeah. Where should we be on the schedule? We should be still having our break. Okay. So your pizza wreath is cooking. Mm -hmm. We still haven't done your salad. Or the pasta. Or the pasta. Okay. Do you think that we can get the salad done by 3.30 and then we will be back on track mm -hmm. for doing the pasta? Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's get it done. Okay. So we are going to make up the salad dressing in that pot and put it in the fridge. Okay. And then we're going to cut up your lettuce and kale okay. and have it in a bowl. And we'll put a towel over it and keep it in the fridge. And then that'll be ready because all we'll have to do right before dinner is mix it together. Okay. Be all ready to go. Do you have all the ingredients for the dressing? Yes. Okay, what does it say to do first? Step five. Meanwhile, prepare a dressing, smash and peel garlic, mince and add to small bowl. So get your garlic press and crush your garlic and we're going to do it in this pot okay. so that it can just go directly into the fridge. Okay. We only need two. This Caesar salad is one of our favorites, isn't it? Mm-hmm. I personally could eat this Caesar salad for every meal. <laughs> when did you get sick of it? I don't think so. It's so good. Juice lemons. Okay, so you need to cut those lemons in half and then you have to squeeze all the juice out. You might want to do it into a separate bowl because okay. sometimes there's seeds. So would a cereal bowl be okay? Yes. 
We don't want seeds in our dressing. You were right about the seeds. How many seeds do you have? Like 10. From half a lemon? Mm-hmm, and there's still another one. So what's harder to squeeze, garlic or lemons? Lemons because they're really wet once you squeeze them. And you want to get all that juice out. No. Eat things. And anyway, one pie for mom, one pie for me, and one for you. <gasps> Lucas. <laughs> no. <laughs> Actually, how do we know that it's ready? Well, we're going to have to pull it out and take a look. It smells delicious. It looks delicious. Mm. I'd say it's done. Should we taste test it? No, because we'd probably eat it all before dinner. <laughs> It would be like yours and my snack, and nobody <laughs> else would get any. Time for mayonnaise. Let's see how much mayonnaise. Two tablespoons. Times two. Four. Okay. You're going to be a math pro by the end of today. <laughs> so. Are you finger painting with the mayonnaise? It's everywhere. Seriously? Well, does it look like it's nicely in there? No, I'm just gonna push it. Is back. it all over your hands? It's not that much over my hands. You shouldn't have any on your hands. Well, when you're scraping through a dirty hole. Um, I didn't have any problem. <laughs> okay, clean up this mayonnaise. Get the lid on. Get it put away. Okay. And let's move on to the next step. And now, next up is Dijon. How much do you need? Mm, one and a half teaspoons, so one teaspoon. You're getting it! Well, it's easy to do with halves. Not at the beginning of our cooking today. Seriously? Seriously. So, your salad's ready. Yep. And now, you know what? What? We're back on track. Really? You didn't get your break. Well, you got a few minutes to eat your lunch. Yeah. But you didn't get your big break, but we are back on track. That's good. Okay, so next we have to get the stuff ready for your pasta. Mmm. -hmm. Nice work. Thank you. So get the extra bits put into the compost and then we will cut that up nice and small. Okay. So we need you to help Cheyenne. She's doing all this cooking and we need you yep. to set the table. Yep. Better take your chart. Yep. How's the vegetables coming? Going good. Let me see how many you can sneak into the sauce. Mm-hmm. How long do you think it's going to take for your pot to boil? Uh, maybe 30 minutes. Think that long? Yeah, because we determined earlier that it was going to be like 20 to 30 minutes. Okay, and you're getting all your vegetables in here? Mm-hmm. And more garlic? Mm-hmm. <laughs> nice. To keep the vampires away. Yeah. Keep any boyfriends away, too. How's it coming? Garlic's done. Okay, so we need to saute those vegetables up. So how are you holding up? You have been cooking up a storm since 11 o'clock and it's already 420. Feet are telling me they're tired. <laughs> Your feet are tired? Yeah. Onions aren't as strong now. You don't need to cry. Are they still bugging you? No. Oh. 
I didn't think they were so strong because they're all cooked. You're gonna need an oven mitt to get the lid off of this. You dump all the noodles in carefully. Dinner's coming along. Mm -hmm. Final stretch. Are you hungry? Yeah. There we go. So those need to come back to the boil and then they're ready to eat. Mm -hmm. Do you know what you have to do now? What about your salad? Oh yeah, stir those two things together, the dressing and the salad. Dressing first? Yes. So probably put about half of that on okay. and then stir it up so then we can see. It's almost time to eat. Mm -hmm. What time is it? Five o'clock. Mm, ahead of schedule, even though you were behind schedule for a minute there. Yep, it caught up. Doing great. That is great. You should be really proud of yourself. You made such a delicious looking dinner. Mm-hmm. A delicious looking bread. Do you have any more croutons in here? That's probably good. How's it looking? Good. Okay, we can take that to the table. Okay. And I think your noodles are done. Yep, they're foaming. A lot of noodles. Here's our dessert. Are you going to pull some of the bread apart? Are you going to be the first one, Cheyenne? Okay. 